What is up everyone? Welcome to another video of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. I know I haven't posted in a little while just because I was celebrating my birthday over the weekend uh, with my girlfriend and some more family. Now, uh, also I know uh, that the election is pretty soon so it is going to get pretty crazy in the US. Uh, hope everyone is staying safe. Uh, go out and vote if you can. I know the absentee ballots probably won't be counted anymore because it's too late. But if you are feeling up to it, definitely go out to your nearby polls and uh, vote. Have your voice heard. But uh, getting back to the video, uh, we did finally get the Super Saiyan Vegeta Assist, uh, Assist Soul. So we're just going to upgrade this right now. Now my main plan is to get more of those potions to level up for the Vegeta and the Goku. Hopefully rank them up and then uh, get more of the effect from the Vegeta um, to increase the damage by being with the Assist Soul of Goku. If that makes sense. Now I took out the Android 17 obviously just because we can't use them yet. So if we do end up using Kale, then we'll definitely throw the Android 17 back in. Just because uh, his assist soul is pretty nice. And then obviously we can go in the cross war and redeem for more of those Vegeta shards to upgrade it from there. Now I do want to go into the town and uh, get more of those technique books that I was slightly talking about in the last episode. But before we do that, I do want to spend 100 dragon stones on some stamina right now and uh just primarily trying to get this gate zamasu to uh red or uh, red tier i believe he will be our first red tier character just because i want to prioritize him being an sss plus character now right here you see you can redeem those purple shards for those goku right there which i did do and then these are the technique books so it can they have various effects obviously if you're an attack type character you can only have an attack type book etc but some of them say all so if your assist soul character is an all then I'm pretty sure you can uh, equip it. So what I'm looking for is more attack, more damage output when that Goku does the uh, Kamehameha. So I'm probably gonna go with the attack. Now this one right here is for the position two slot. So you do have to rank up your assist soul uh, pretty highly in order to use it. But uh, I'm gonna get that. Now I'm also gonna go back and uh, try and find one that we can use for the position one. I know that one is pretty good to have a position two, but we need to prioritize and uh, use one that we can use right now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this attack rate right here. We're going to check it out and see how much it increases uh, the attack. And then we'll go from there. But um, I'm pretty sure you can also upgrade these with some gold if you have still some of those blue tokens. Which is pretty nice. So right here it's lighting up that we can equip it. And it's increasing his attack I believe by 5%. Yep, so that is pretty good. And obviously you can upgrade that and it'll do even more damage which is uh, pretty good. So I can see how a lot of people have uh, a lot of CP in the world tournaments and everything with these assist soul characters. Uh, but now I do want to hop into the Divine Domain. I forgot that we did get Jirin to 6 star, but we never did his Divine Domain. Now, uh, the characters that we're using for this fight is uh, going to be pretty simple because we have ranked up Broly, or ranked up Hit, ranked up Jirin. Now, I do want to start using more of my Universal Shards for the Super Saiyan Blue Goku because we haven't been able to unlock his Divine Domain yet. He is still at 4 star I believe and uh, yeah he's honestly the weakest character I'd say on the team but I know he has a lot of potential to be uh, even better. So we do get the quick win right there. Um, that Jiren barely did any damage to us so we are going to be able to unlock this Supreme Kai's Blessing which is pretty nice. I'll show you the ability that he will get. Um, so right here we'll scroll down to the fourth one. And it is the Super Key Fist. So he attacks violently and his uh, mini skill probability by 25% for two rounds. He deals 70% more damage to attack type warriors, which is really nice. And then uh, he increases his dodge rate by 30% and damage reduction by 10% if he's on the field for less than okay. three rounds. And then the rest right there, obviously, if he's on the field for more than three rounds, he gets that insane attack boost also. So uh, that is why we're going to try and keep upgrading this Durin. We did have more shards of him right there to upgrade it, which is pretty nice. Now, I could have used these resources on the Kid Buu, but we did steer away from that just because it wouldn't be as efficient because he is an SS character. I do want to focus primarily on this Broly, as you can see right here, and also the Durin. They are SSS characters, and uh, you see the ability of Broly once we max out the level 2 Divine Domain. And uh, obviously, like I was talking about, we do need to get more shards of the Super Saiyan Blue Goku I have been trying to do five arena fights a day for that one shard of him, but still, you know, we got to go from there and do that. Now, for the best of Cosmos, I'm just gonna, you know, put in my best lineup of what it auto generates. Now, right here, I have been still redeeming for the Jiren, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was thinking of doing the the Kefla right there, but I think it's better to hold off on it just because uh, we don't even have 
uh, her at all yet. So I think uh, Jirin is probably the best investment for now. Now, uh, we're going into this this exchange. I'm still redeeming for the beers just because once we get beers, we'll be able to unlock a link, I believe, with Gata Zimasu, which is pretty nice. Now, other than that, I do want to go into the crossover arena and obviously show you the, the assist souls of the Vegeta and also the Goku together. Yes, they aren't upgraded as much, but I think it would definitely improve our lineup. We gained a few thousand CP by it. Now I'm going into the attack lineup and equipping them in right there, which is pretty nice. You can have up to six assist soul characters in your cross server arena. So we're going to take on Black Goku. He has more priority and uh, from server 45. So let's go. His first team definitely looks a lot stronger right off the bat. He does have the Ultra Instinct Goku is going to be a problem. But um, you'll see right there, he just pretty much almost one shot my Super Saiyan Blue Goku and he's pretty heavily upgraded. But that plays a role when he's not 5, 6, 7 star. You see the defense because uh, he doesn't have that defense reduction skill. So that plays a big role. Obviously, we haven't been really upgrading that Xeno Goku at all. And he pretty much almost took out our team in the first, first round, which is pretty insane. So we're going to have to bank on our second team winning this fight. If we don't win, then it is what it is. But I'm hoping that our second team can come through with the assist souls on that team. And uh, even Broly hopefully can come back with a 30% chance and do at least an ultimate. And he does not. So this is literally a 2-on-1 being the fr our second team versus his uh, two teams. So Gata Zamasu just goes in right there with his ultimate and does a lot of damage, which is really good. What we wanted, the assist of Goku goes off right here, does a decent amount of damage just to put a little crack on uh, the enemy's HP. Now Hit does his thing. Now we also have the talent tree, if you haven't noticed, that our attack type warriors do gain health back. I've been slowly upgrading that because I do think that is a uh, great skill to have. We get a lucky stun right there and a lot of silences, so they're not going to be able to do their ultimate. Obviously, Jirin does do his ultimate because he wasn't silenced, but um, I'm pretty satisfied with that turn. Um, basically, just going to be a lot of normal attacks, which we should be able to tank pretty well, especially being Jirin. Now, the main key is to take out that back row. Jiren is just going to start stacking that defense. We're going to slowly take out more characters and be able to um, gain more HP back. And uh, Jiren gaining the HP, as you'll see pretty shortly. We take out this Jiren right here. He gains back 57k, the Jiren, which is really nice. Another 57k, and he's increasing his defense. So that is what I'm banking on right now. Obviously, you saw in the past few episodes, we also upgraded Jiren's uh, skill. Uh, defense, uh, what's it called? Damage reduction. So he is also going to tank even more. Look how much damage he tanks from that Ultra Instinct Goku in the sixth slot. So I'm really proud of that Jiren right there. Doing really good. Even the Gante Zamasu has been tanking a lot. So it's been paying off upgrading this front row. Even our Majin Buu is coming back to life. Literally just another body just to throw in the front line and to hold off so our main hitters can do their damage. We are pretty much going to wrap up this first, uh, what's it called? This first fight right here. But the Ultra Instinct Goku looks heavily upgraded as well. I don't know if we're going to be able to take him out this round, which is pretty unfortunate because he's probably going to get his ultimate off, and he does. But luckily, he does target the Majin Buu, so I'm not too worried about that. If he did target the Gate Zamasu or the Jiren, it would have been much worse. But um, I'm not too worried about that. We should be able to take out the Ultra Instinct Goku this round. We still have the Assist Souls of the Goku and the Vegeta, which is pretty nice. And now we're going to face his weaker team, which is probably pretty similar to my first team. But uh, let's see how we do here. This is going to be uh, pretty dicey with how all this uh, plays out. So uh, let's see what happens. And also, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Always taking your guys' feedback. And uh, thank you all again for the continued support. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video so I can be as helpful as possible. Now, I do also want to make more gym videos and more finance videos now for the gym videos i haven't gone back to the gym in probably seven or eight months so i've been trying to keep my body in as best shape as i can i do plan on going back next year uh, i don't know when especially with uh covid still around but i do plan on going back next year let me know in the comments below if you guys are still in the gym and working out and stuff uh even at home let me know if you guys are doing home workouts or not but yeah definitely know in the uh let me know in the comments below so uh, we're pretty much uh, almost losing this fight in a way. Uh, Argate Zamasu did die, but he's obviously going to come back. Um, Hit did die right there, and Android 17's assist soul did do a decent amount to our Kid Buu. But Jiren is just tanking a lot. After all those rounds of stacking the defense and healing HP, his defense is really good. 
So I'm confident right here we're going to be able to take out an enemy and Jiren is going to be able to gain some HP back, which is really nice. So now I'm hoping we can take out Broly again and have Jiren gain back more HP. But I think he was nullified due to the Frieza, so he didn't gain any HP back, which is uh, something interesting to note. But we did get the win there, and that's pretty much going to wrap up this video of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, I'm out. Later.